Hello and welcome to another hexagon puzzle game. I This came up because um, the... What game was I looking at? Uh, shoot, I don't even remember what game I was looking at. Uh, oh, a place... A place like home, something like that. Anyway, it showed this game, Panorama. It had come out on the 9th, I think, or something. Um, and it was a little bit on sale, but it kind of reminded me of Dwarf Romantic. So I played Dwarf Romantic not that long ago on this channel, and we're gonna do the same thing today. We're gonna play a standard game and uh, see what we can do. It's just a vanilla game experience. You can also play creative to create your own, but we're gonna play, and I wanted to show this off. We're gonna play about for half an hour, and this is exactly like Dwarf Romantic, by the way. Like, it's ungodly similar. Um, but I noticed this is like a genre of games. So basically what you do is you place down tiles like Dwarf Romantic, uh, but this one's a little different, so you can kind of see um, there's no edges on this one. Uh, the type of tile is on the right here. And so it's a little less uh, restrictive as far as I'm concerned. Um, and so you've got things like houses and trees. Let's put the houses and trees over there. So this tile has trees, fields, and houses on it. And um, you can put it pretty much, yeah, so you can see if you put a tile next to a tile that's got something on it, um, those little, I don't know what they're, like little bloops on top of it will pop up. So let's go ahead and just build. And this seems to be a rather chill type of game. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, so you can kind of build a little bit more open as far as I'm concerned. Like the game feels definitely more, um, or less restrictive because you're not, you don't have the edge requirements that we had previously in um, Dwarf Romantic. Um, here, let's put this here, it's a lot of upgrades. And so we've got little quests here, so we need to put little thing, put things together. Let's put this down here. We're just building plants and stuff. And we can get, once you fill this up, you get a booster pack and you get to choose. So expands the placement tile space by one, doubles points from the future, instantly upgrades 10 houses. Let's go ahead and get this silo one here and we can turn this so you can actually rearrange these little like things. And you, what you want to do is you want to fill up the squares. So we're going to put this here. So we've got a rock and a flower. So we'll put this here because that is the rock. And we'll put this one here because it's a flower. And it popped up. Now we've got a cute little, uh, there's a cat that I can highlight. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Looks like if you find critters or something, uh, you can click on them and that is fun. Okay, let's see, let's continue building. I'm gonna build this way. We've got, this time we've got three houses and a field. Sure, we'll do that. I didn't mean to, I keep trying to, <laughs> I don't mean to scroll in like that, but alas, I am a crazy person and I keep doing that. Um, we're gonna put that there. We've got another house here. We have another field here. So as you can see, we're gonna complete this. Boom! We got a bunch of points from that. Yeah, that's what we wanna do. And from what I understand, you do wanna put things together. So that's why we're doing that. Okay, we've got another quest here. This one uh, requires a bunch of fields. We've got another house and a flower. So the flowers uh, upgrade all of the things around them, which I think is interesting. Look, hang on. There's a little bird in here. And we get points for clicking on them. And look, I must get points for clicking on the frogs too. So I guess as you upgrade the tiles, things will appear. That's adorable and I love it. Um, I'm gonna put this over here. Yeah, as so you can see that house upgraded. Let's put this over here and we can put this here. Got another booster pack. Let's see, we've got a local cafe that instantly upgrades 10 houses. 
a local hall which places 10 houses or a hillside quarry which places rocks we're gonna go ahead and choose the local hall because i like the look of that one um we can put this one here we're gonna build that up let's see we need to put some flowers over there but we need houses so let's keep an eye out for houses um can i do multiple quests like in one spot i think i can i don't think there's a reason why i can't do that well, let's check out the so you can see if i hover here that's where all of the tiles are going to be placed so let's go ahead and just do that boom we have a town isn't that cute actually let's undo that real quick let me put this here so it looks like we actually do need to put the the little um the correct tiles right next to the quest look at that rock is getting big let's see here let's put this here we've got some more oh we have hang on oh i see a fish wait a minute i can't click on the fish can i click on no can't click on anything in here all right so we have another house I'm trying to remember which buttons to push here let's put the houses over there we have more fields so we'll put the fields over there. We have more rocks. They make them so big. I love it. Put that there. More water. Okay, we've got another start. Oh, we got two water pieces. Okay. Let's put that here. I'm gonna kinda readjust my camera. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and put this here. We've got flowers. Oh, so if I put the flowers here, this would actually complete both of these. Because I think flowers are kind of like wild spaces. We have another booster pack. Let's see, we've got a airship. Uh, expands the tile placement. Uh, wait, expands the tile placement space by one. Forest lodge places 10. And geyser instantly places 10. Oh, I like that. We're going to put the geyser over here. I think. There we go. We've got more fields. I love how the tiles upgrade, by the way. It's actually one of my favorite parts of this game so far is watching things like change. Um, it just makes it look so cool. Let's see. Like all those houses upgraded and it just feels good. I love it. If you see any more animals, let me know. All right, let's do this one now. Ooh, okay, hang on. I wanna get a good view. So we've got all of these birds. Let's go ahead and poke the birds and these adorable little frogs as well. There's a kayak in here. Let's put this here. Very nice. Okay, we have another ah, giant boat. Did you see that pop out? It's not, um, I also there's a cat on it. Hang on, can I click on the cat? The cat, it's kind of floating at the moment. I think it's because of where it's placed. <laughs> okay, let's put this here. So it's against the forest, so we can get some extra points. Uh, are our rocks... Uh, no, okay, we can actually continue our rock existence. Let's put this here. There we go. Did I get that bird already? I did. I, I, it sucks that you can't get the um, fish, but it's fine. Let's see, I'm gonna upgrade... Hmm, what do I want to upgrade? I'm gonna put the upgrade over here. We got more houses. I'm so curious to what like what else we can build these houses into. Ooh, more flowers. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade here. Look at all those houses. Oh, we got another one. Uh, this one is for rocks though. So let's put this here. Perfect. Let's uh, continue upgrading our water. Click on that bird. Okay, so we've got more fields. Let's go over here. I want to upgrade these fields and see what they turn into. Eh, they just look kind of the same, to be honest. All right, we'll do that. Look at all those points. Uh, I do have to say it's a little bit more satisfying in this one to have like the points. Uh, doubles points from the future. Um, let's try this one. Looks cool. Let's see, we have like a ton of... <laughs> the bird is just exploding, by the way. Uh, I don't think that, I think that's a graphical glitch, but it's fun because it was just popping. Okay, let's put more houses over here. I'll put this here. Uh, that boat is out of control, by the way. <laughs> just pointing that out. 
Okay, let's readjust the camera so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got another one of these. Uh, this one is for housing. Let's pop this over. Can I put it here? Yeah, there we go. So we want to put more houses over there. This one's got water, fields, and rocks. Here, we'll put that there. I do like the fact that this game is a little less restrictive than um, Dorf Romantic. And I do have another one of these games actually that I picked up that I'm very curious about. I really don't have much to say about them other than they're fun and I want people to try them out. I want to, can I not zoom in <laughs> at the moment? Uh, let's see here. Let's, this has got rocks. It wants us to put a sneer rock. So we're going to go over here. We're going to put it here. There we go. I wanted to see if I'd gotten those frogs before. It looks like I had. Okay, good. Let's continue expanding these water areas. Ah, here we go. We can finish this. So now we have a cute little, um, oh, there's another cat. Looks like all of these have cats. There we go. The boat's almost in the way there. All right, let's see what else we've got here. We've got another quest to complete up there. We have some stuff we can upgrade. I think this does um, increase as you go. So you do need to be a little bit more careful as you go and you complete all of the things. Looks like we need a house over here, so we complete that quest. Complete this quest as well. Wow, just like a group, group completion. Love it. I have another one here. This is a forest one. I'll put that there. But it looks like I can complete this by popping some flowers down. Woo! All right, I have another one of these. I'm very curious. Small tree on rocks. Ooh, we have some bigger ones now. We've got two star. We have another town hall here. Um, but we also have a river geyser. We don't have one of these. Let's put one of these over here. Ooh, it is much bigger. Look how big this is. I'll take that the wrong way. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it... Hmm, I'm going to put it here. And build that way. Okay, so we're just going to have to wait for those tiles to show up. We've got one, here's our rock. Let's continue building down here. Now we've got more water. Um, I can't put that there quite yet because we're not built out that far. Can I click on that bird? Yes. Here's some flowers though. Ooh, we have a tree forest one. There we go. I uh, don't need any more flowers down there, I think. Hmm, ooh, let's put this here. We got more rocks. We got another tree. So we've got rocks, house, and fields. But I can actually put this here. It counts. Which I, I like those like tiles that have more than one. I wanted to kind of zoom in here. Look how busy this little town is. There's so many places. Well, it's not busy. There are no people in this game. Makes this game nice. <laughs> Ooh, we have another one here. Ooh, this one's split. Let's see. But if I put it here, it's already complete. So that works out great. I need some water, but we have a couple tiles to go before that. So we're going to go and just place these guys. Um, I'm going to continue this way. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, so much water. Does seem to be a limited number of water tiles. I wonder if that's the same with the rest of the tiles and they just don't look, or they kind of blend in a little bit better because the water tiles are um, a little restrict, not restrictive, but there's fewer of them. Let's see, I'm gonna put this down here. I need one more. Oh, well, there it is. We'll put it there. Got another booster pack here. Let's see, we have a local bell tower. Uh, we have a hillside quarry and the small tree on the rocks. So let's do the local bell tower. Uh, looks like we've got really nothing I can put in here. 
Hmm, let's put this here. And we'll fill that in as we as we go. We got more water here. I don't need water down there. There's that big geyser. Um sure, we'll put this here. That's a lot of points. I do need a rock down here, so let's do that. Um we need flowers now for for that. I don't have flowers at the moment, so we do have this. Ooh, speaking of flowers. Um, if I put this I actually can't stick that in there at all. But you know what? That's okay. Here, we'll put this here. Oh, another boat popped up. Oh no. Those floating boats are uh, taking over. Okay, we've got rocks and houses. Here, we'll put this here. We've got another one of these. So this one's housing this time. Um, I think that is, in fact, flowers, so we can put that there. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest, but that is that is okay. Don't need any more rocks down there at the moment. I want to put them up here because I want to see what these turn into. More housing and fields. There we go. Ah, there's the flowers. All right, let's take out the, the bell tower. Didn't, isn't there a cat on each one of these? Is there a cat somewhere in here? There it is! <laughs> I didn't expect this to become a cat hunting simulator, but alas, here we are. I didn't mean to push that button, or push that key. Mouse, click. I'll get there. Let's see, so we need to put more houses down here, so let's go ahead and make sure we're doing that. And we can fill in more space up there. Ooh, what do we have this time? Uh, looking for rocks. And it's got a ton of trees. So there we go. Ooh, we got more rocks. And a little house out there. We've got fields and flowers. So, er, trees and flowers, I should say. We can put that there. And let's go ahead and put... We really need a rock there. Oh, you can actually block it out, by the way. And flowers count, since they are a wild card. Love that. Yeah, I do love the fact that they are wild cards. Um, something about that just feels good. Another booster pack. All right, let's see here. So this time, ooh, we have an improved silo. A windmill and a barn. Let's try this one. Let's see, so we have flowers, fields, Hmm, I don't think we really have a lot of flowers that we can use at the moment. But we can put this, I'm gonna put this up here. We're gonna just uh, fill that in. So here is some flowers. Here is some fields. Uh, we've got something here that requires fields. Speaking of fields. Uh, let's see, this one has uh, fields and trees. So we'll go ahead and, what is that tractor? Oh my goodness. It is so big. I need rocks and I need flowers up there. Um, there we go. We can fill that in. There's the rocks. And here is the flowers. So there is the... Oh, let me put this down. Uh, let's see. We're looking for trees. We'll put that down over there. Because I couldn't zoom in. There's the cat. Like that little silo. Look, look at the giant tree got a cat on it. Did... <laughs> oh, all of the big things have cats. Oh, we have three boats now, by the way. Each with a different color cat. Let's see, these are two gray cats and a like a black cat over there. That's adorable and hilarious to me. <laughs> okay, let's pop all those down. Um, let's see, I need, a tr I need a house down here, so we'll put the flowers down there. That'll work great. So many points. I'm hoping we get bigger ones. Ooh, we have one that requires water. Can I stick it in there? Yes, I can. There we go. Ooh, I can get lots of points there. I wanna see what the next one is. I hope, I actually don't know. Obviously we saw that there were two stars, but are there more than two stars? I wanna get like all these points. That wasn't a lot of points. 
the more points, the faster we get the next thing. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, we got a hillside cottage, a fountain, and a local cafe. Um, let's go ahead and do the local cafe. And this, you can kind of see now there's like a border around this. This is how far out that things will automatically get um, upgraded. So let's put this here. We have some fields and actually water. Well, we're gonna put this up here. I'll have another spot of water up there. Here's the flowers, we need a house now. So whenever a house pops up, I'm gonna go take it. Oh, there it is. We're gonna put that here. All right, so you can see things upgrading. That's, oh my goodness. There's the cat. <laughs> Meow. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna put this down here. There's that quest done. Okay, so now we have some houses. Does this count as a house? I'm actually not sure. Kind of looks like it does. I don't think this, oh, if I stick that in there, actually it's automatically complete. Look at that. Love that. We've got like a little town going on here. We've got a town hall, a uh, bell tower, cafe, love it. We've got some water areas down here, love that. Go ahead and expand these water areas. I'm gonna put this here. It's like a whole ocean at this point. Let's just go ahead and keep expanding here. We've got a little, ooh, what's this? Uh, fields, of course it's fields. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put it like this. That's a lot of points and whatnot. I'm gonna put this down here. So we need a couple of fields. Let's put this here. And we have another one here. Ooh, we have some flowers. Let's upgrade some stuff. Let's do this. And we've got more housing and trees. More fields. Ah, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, let's see, hillside cottage, windmill. Let's do the windmill, cause that looks fun. Uh, let's see here. I think we can actually put this here. So all we really need is another field and then a house. Wow, that was fast. So there is the little windmill. Um, the cat is hiding in the corn, cause of course he is. That is awesome. We need any more houses up there, so we'll have to do that. Let's continue building. I want to build that out. I'm, I'm like really enjoying that water. Uh, let's see, we have some trees. Ooh, we have trees and, or we have, um, this time we have both rocks and water. So that's an interesting mix. Uh, let's put this here. And I'm gonna zoom in slightly. I'm gonna put the flowers here to complete that water. Got some rocks, so we need three rocks. There's one. Oh, let's see, we need housing this time. I keep using the wrong button <laughs> to move. Well, if we can put this here, there's one down. We have another house, we have this here. That's cool. I don't know why I'm trying to drag with the right um, mouse button, to be honest with you. Okay, so all that's done, but I do need some housing up here. So let's put this here. We need some rocks over here. Ooh, it looks like we actually can't finish this one. Let's see what happens if we can't finish it. It just puffs away. I think that's a first. We had, we've been completing all the other ones, but we weren't able to do that one, unfortunately. Because of the way it was placed. How unfortunate. I guess I need to be careful on that in the future. Okay, so now we have some rocks. Let's go to do that. Ooh, and we have one that has more rocks. Oh, forest and rocks though. Uh, okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this here. So there's that one. We don't really have a lot of like houses over there. We have some. So this one requires some forest. This one requires some rocks. We have a ton of water though. So let's build this. Let's just fill, what was that? Let's fill that in. Oh, we've got one that requires water and trees. Um, 
I can see how this could become a problem. Because that one requires two. Okay, we're going to put this down here. Didn't I have it done? Yes, if I put it there, it's done. So we have some housing. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's open this up. Let's see, we have the, ooh, we have the river fisherman's hut. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it looks like this upgrades a bunch of stuff. So I do want to do that. Um, doesn't really look like I have any place that I can really put this. Here, we can put it there. That's what we're going to do. And here's the flowers to start that off with. Here's the water. Uh, here's some more water. And then we just need a house. So there we go. So let me go ahead and put... I'm going to put this here. Because we do have... Um, we have so much of this to do. Let's see. Let's put this... Let's put that there. And then we can... What are we looking for down here? A house. Okay. Then we can finish that up. We need some more rocks and some flowers. And actually, so this is rocks and flowers, so this will finish this up. Beautiful. We have some fields, which did nothing for me right now. Rocks, which I actually do need down here. We have rocks, house, rocks, and trees. We have a house. This is what I want to complete. So there's a little fisherman's hut. Click on the cat. I don't know if you guys could see that. There's a little like, oh, there's two cats on this one. <gasps> Are the bigger ones, they have multiple cats. I... I don't remember which ones were big. <laughs> oh no, does that, mean, does that mean all of the bigger ones have multiple cats? This is a cat hunting game, that's what this is. I hope you all realize this game has nothing to do with anything, just cats. All right, well, let's go ahead and fill this in. Uh, it looks like we can start kind of like having a little forest over here. Um, I'm gonna put this here. It's got water and rocks. Ooh, what's this? Fields and Housing. Okay, let's put this. Um, I'm gonna put this here. There we go. We do need more water, but I don't really want to put that over there, to be completely honest. We're gonna expand this a little bit. We have flowers. Let's finish that one. Oh, we have another one. Let's see. Industrial silo. Ooh, big area though. Look at this. So, we do have some flowers already. Let's pop that there. Let's go ahead and fill this one in because I'm very excited about it. Oh my goodness. Uh, this one takes like a bunch of trees to complete. There we go. Some more flowers. Some more fields. Um, I need a, <laughs> I need a rock. I ain't never heard that from me before. Here we go. And there's the industrial silo. So this one was a three. So there's one cat. Does that mean there are three cats in here somewhere? Or is that just pure luck from the other one? Okay, it was just pure luck. Interesting. Let's head back over here. Continue filling that in. This is getting so big. This time we've got more flowers and we have trees. We need some rocks down here. So that one is now done. So let's see, we've got water and we've got trees. I'm going to put that one up here since it's a little pond and not something, something big. Let's see, let's put, um, I'm gonna put this here. We've got more fields. This area is so large. I love it, actually. This one's forest and rocks and stuff. I think we clicked on pretty much everybody down here. Oh, except for the frogs? That frog. I need to make sure that I click on the frogs. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Even for me, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. 
Did I click on all these birds and all the frogs? I love how there's just seagulls everywhere. So anyway, that's done. Ooh, we have another one of these. So we've got, um, a, I think it's a bigger bell tower, a hillside sh airship, and a fountain. Let's go ahead and grab that fountain. Um, and I know it says upgrade water, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it down here because I think it would look better um, within my town area. So let's see, we've got rocks and we've got trees. So there's the rocks. What do we need? We need water down there. Okay. And let's put this here. Okay, here's one water. Do I need trees up here? I do need trees up there. Let's go ahead and continue expanding my town. There's a little fountain. Look at that. And there's the cat. That is so cute. The time on this has flown by, by the way. I know um, I said I was going to play for like half an hour. <laughs> um, so you guys could get an idea of the gameplay. But man, is the time just zooming uh -huh, very rapidly. I was not anticipating half an hour to just be here and then gone. Quite like it has been. And I do have to say, um, it doesn't feel like it's been half an hour already. And I've quite enjoyed myself with this. I really need to stop. I keep trying to, I'm trying to figure out what game I've been playing that uses the left mouse click to, um, did I, I didn't click on that. Oh, I don't care about that. I just was trying to click on the cat that's driving the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, there, there's a cat driving the tractor. Oh, we got more water here. Um, I'm going to put this, that'll work because I think if we put this in the middle, wonderful. This is so much fun. Uh, let's finish this up. And we got another one. We've got a town cafe, small forester's lodge, or a small tree on rocks. Um, I feel like because we've done so many of the town ones, I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh, this one upgrades. So let's upgrade, right? You know, upgrading some of these areas would be really good. Okay, we have rocks. Oh, we have water. Let's go ahead and finish that up. I'm looking for a tree, there it is. And all of those things should get upgraded that, that were not already upgraded. So now we've got a cute little um, tree on rocks and there's our cat. Let's put this up here. Look at all those points because it had flowers. Um, let's upgrade. Hmm, was there another one that I was working on? I was working on this down here. Let's put this here. More fields. So I'm guessing what it is, if you have so many of uh, a certain thing together, then stuff will spawn like the tractors or the boats. There's another boat down there. <laughs> we have four boats now. Oh my goodness. I'm wondering if there's a limit on like boats. Like, do you, does it just stop? Do I have anything else on the map right now? No, I do not. So we're just filling whatever we're doing here. Oh, here we go. We've got housing and we've got fields. Okay, we'll put that there. And then we can put this here so that completes one. I gotta make sure I click on all of my um, small critters. Let's kind of zoom back in. Thank you. So we've got houses and fields. We've got more water. Ooh, look at all that water. There's another bird popping up in there. Let's see, we've got some flowers we can upgrade. We got more water. And this one, ooh, we've got trees this time. Trees and water. Uh, let's see, maybe I can put this here. So this time we've got housing, fields, and water. We'll put that up there so that gets upgraded. What do we got? We got another town hall. 
which places housing. We've got small orchard. Ooh, I don't think we've done anything like that. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're gonna put that um, up here. Sure, why not? Of course, I zoom around, which I did not want to do. We've got some flowers here. We'll put those in here. Nice little upgrade there. Here's a house. And we've got housing, water. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put this. Let's put this down here. Oh, let's actually not do that. Hang on. You may have noticed um, it requires two additional ones. So we don't actually want to put that all the way down there because that will be a problem here. We'll put that there. And then we've got the housing one taken care of. I guess there's just a, a wall there now. <laughs> and yeah, what am I missing up here? Trees. Okay. We got fields and rocks. Put that there. We got housing. Looks like we're already done with all that though. We got more rocks here. Actually, I want to come back up here and build put rocks. Oh my goodness. More rocks. We've got more housing. I do not need housing at the moment. The housing market is full here. But we've got to get that. We got a cute little uh, orchard. Oh, there's the cat. Don't really see any more of the cats. Um, also up here, I guess I should point this out. That looks like we have like a whole bunch like of details. And uh, in order to win the game, it looks like we just have to unlock all structures to win. I wonder um, what I'm gonna do. I think I've effectively shown this game off to you guys. I'm just gonna play for a little bit. And uh, when I finally win or lose, I will show you guys what I've got. It's probably gonna take a little bit if I'm getting um, an idea of how this is gonna kind of go. Okay, so I've been playing for like an hour and a half and end of the game is coming up here. Uh, I ran out of tiles, as you can see. So what happens when you lose? All right, game over. Let's go ahead and take a look around. So this is my little town. You can see all the animals. It actually, it's really cool from this angle. I got about, woo, that was a lot faster than I expected. We have like a big old tree over here. Oh, I didn't click on that cat apparently. That's terrible. We've got, let's see, what else did I put in here? We've got a couple, we've got a couple uh, blimps going around. We've got a whole bunch of boats. I don't even know, did I end up clicking on all of these? Look at all of these boats. Nope, there's one. I missed that one at some point in time. Yeah, I'm still doing the wrong click here. I'm still trying to figure out what game I've been playing. Um, apparently I missed some of the sea life. Sea life? Down here, the small birds and stuff. Apparently I missed those. Not that I'm going to get 200 points. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of like tractors and stuff. Bell Tower. Yeah, we almost got this, but we missed it. We have a castle with a cat on it. I didn't see that cat. There's a cat back here as well. Uh, we have like a ton of tractors. Oh, the cats actually lie down in them. So many tractors. I don't know. It's a cute little game. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as I showed off, uh, you can actually see, yeah. Oh, we can actually hold space to see the cats. Apparently. Huh. Oh yeah, you can actually see the animals that haven't been clicked on. Interesting. If I can I exit out of this and still do that or does it require you to have No, it does not actually require 
you to have the menu open. So that's actually kind of nice. So you can see, you know, small, like the frogs are to so tiny that you might miss them. Um, let's see, are there any other... Oh yeah, there are other crows, it looks like. That you can click on. Those guys are in the fields. This is this is now a scavenger. This is an animal scavenger hunt. We have switched the game. There's a cat over there. Uh, I don't remember what this was. This is not. This is this is nothing apparently. Interesting. There's another crow. There's definitely not enough points for me to get any more tiles or anything. But it is definitely... Is there anything in the... The rocks seem to be... Actually, the rocks are kind of like my least favorite. Because um, like you've got like this big old like mountain and you've got like a mine and stuff over here. Which is very cool. But the problem is it feels a little empty. I would definitely want to put more into those. Because they just feel very bland to me. Did I really? There are more cats on this thing? Oh, there's a cat up there too! Uh, yes. Cats? I don't know. I just, um... I want to click on cats, apparently. This is actually really fun, like, where's Waldo at the end of this? Like, he was like, look around and be like, alright, let's find all of the, the small critters that we missed. But anyway, this has been very enjoyable. It's very much like Dorf Romantic. This game feels uh even more, I don't know if this is the right word, even more cozy, cozier than Dwarf Romantic. Um, music in this one, I feel, is a little, is not as good as the other one. Um, but I still really enjoyed this one. This one feels a little bit um, more open, not open-ended. That's not the word I'm looking for. It feels a little less constrained restricted on like where you put stuff which I kind of like obviously there are lots of requirements and um as you go through the game uh your requirements become more and more difficult so there is obviously that but it's very it's a very um small curve and it was a lot of fun and this was very enjoyable so I'd highly suggest this game I think it's on sale for like $12 I think it's like 20% off. It's not very expensive. For the price, this game is definitely worth it. Um, I do... I don't know. I like this kind of game. I like games where, like, you can see, like, I've grouped fields and houses and stuff. I like games that you can do that. I don't know why I like that. I could definitely see this game being something that I would play, like, after a long day. Like, to, to you know, unwind. Um, I got a nasty call and wrote got a nasty text in the middle of this and like jumping right back in I could immediately feel like my blood pressure going down. So I actually really like that. So yeah, this is um This is good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope to see you guys in another game. I I'm gonna be doing another uh, Hexagonal hexagonal game <laughs> where you have like these uh, Tile things I have another one of these that I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of a video on so I hope to see you guys in that one, too